Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka palang sa channel ko, huwag mo kalimutan mag-subscribe at hit mo na yung post notification bell para updated ka every time na popost ako ng bagong video. Itong video na to ay supplementary activity sa last video na in-upload ko tungkol sa probability of an event. So magbibigay lang ako dito ng 10 problems. Pwede nating sagutan and then i-discuss ko kung paano nakuha yung sagot. So keep on watching. Let's start. So, sa items 1 to 5, ang gagamitin kong experiment ay rolling a die. Number 1. A fair die is rolled. What is the probability of getting a number 3? Again, what is the probability of getting a number 3? Answer. One favorable outcome over six possible outcomes or one over six. Dahil isa lang ang makukuha nating three sa pag-roll ng die. So therefore, that is one over six. So there are six possible outcomes in rolling a die. Okay, so let's have number two. So what is the probability of getting a number that is even? Again, what is the probability of getting a number that is even? Answer, 3 favorable outcomes over 6 possible outcomes equals to 3 over 6 or 1 half. What are those even numbers from 1 to 6? 2, 4, and 6. So we have 3 even numbers. So that is 3 over 6, the total possible outcomes, or 1 half. Number 3. What is the probability of getting a number less than 5? Again, what is the probability of getting a number less than 5? Answer. Four favorable outcomes over six possible outcomes equals four over six or two thirds. What are those numbers less than five? Four, three, two, and one. So there are four. So that's why four over six or two thirds. Number four. What is the probability of getting a number greater than 6? What is the probability of getting a number greater than 6? Answer, 0 over 6. So, wala nang number na mas mataas pa sa 6 kasi yun na yung highest number. So, therefore, that is 0 over 6 or 0. So, that is impossible probability. So, meaning to say, uh, imposible na makakuha ka ng number greater than 6 kasi nga 6 na yung pinakamataas. So, the answer is 0 over 6 or 0. For the last item in our given experiment, what is the probability of getting a number that is prime? Again, what is the probability of getting a number that is prime?
Okay, answer. Three favorable outcomes over six possible outcomes equals three over six or one half. When we say prime numbers, the uh, the factors are one and itself. So one is not a prime number because the factor of one is one lang po. So therefore, the prime numbers are two, three, and five. So there are three favorable outcomes over six or one half. Okay, for item 6 to 10, ang ating given experiment ay 15 identical cards labeled 1 to 15. So, therefore, ang ating possible outcomes ay 15. So, find the probability of that a card drawn at random may be a number with a digit 1. Again, find the probability of that a card drawn at random may be a number with the digit 1. Answer, 7 favorable outcomes over 15 possible outcomes equals 7 over 15. Ano-ano ba yung mga numbers with a digit 1 from numbers 1 to 15? So that is 1, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there are 7. So therefore, our answer is 7 over 15. For number 7, find the probability of that a card drawn at random may be a number that is divisible by 5. Find the probability of that a card drawn at random may be a number that is divisible by 5. Answer, 3 favorable outcomes over 15 possible outcomes equals 3 over 15 or 1 over 5. Pag sinabi natin number divisible by 5, kapag dinivide natin siya sa 5, there will be no remainder. And what are those? 5, 10, and 15. So therefore, there are 3 over 15 or 1 fifth. Number 8. Find the probability of that a card drawn at random may be a number greater than 2 but less than 10. Again, find the probability of that a card drawn at random may be a number greater than 2 but less than 10. Okay, answer. 7 favorable outcomes over 15 possible outcomes or 7 over 15. Kailangan daw mataas sa 10 pero hindi lalagpas ng 10. What are those numbers? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, there are 7 favorable outcomes over 15. So, the answer is 7 over 15. Number 9, find the probability of that a card drawn at random may be a number that is perfect square. Again, find the probability of that a card drawn at random may be a number that is perfect square.
Okay, answer. Three favorable outcomes over 15 possible outcomes. Three over 15 or one fifth. So what are those perfect square numbers? So one times one is one. So two times two is four. Three times three is nine. So, 4 times 4 is 16. So, hindi na po included yung 16 kasi ilagpas na sa given natin na 15 identical cards. So, what are those? 1, 4, and 9. So, those are perfect square numbers. So, there are 3 over 15 or 1 pif. Okay, last item. So, find the probability of that a card drawn at random may be double digits. Again, find the probability of that a card drawn at random may be double digits. Okay, answer. 6 favorable outcomes over 15 possible outcomes equals 6 over 15 or 2 pips. So, what are those double digits? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So, there are 6 favorable outcomes over 15 or 2 pips. So, I hope that you got it all correctly. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share with your friends and classmates. See you on my next video. God bless us all.